Well, when one of your friends dies while doing something stupid, try to cover it up. Well, that's the premise of the new movie, The Death of Dick Long. Actor Andre Highland is back in his hometown of Cincinnati for two screenings at the Esquire Theater. But first, he is joining us in studio. Andre, thanks for coming in, man. Appreciate it. Howdy. What's up, man? Not much. So let, let's start with your time in Cincinnati from the Clifton area. Went to UC. Yeah. DAP program. Yeah, then went there for fine arts. Okay, okay, and ended up going to Hollywood. How long That's How right. long have you been out there? Uh, for over 10 years now. Have you so really? a while, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what was the, uh, what was the, I guess, culture clash like leaving Cincinnati and going out to Hollywood? There was less chili. <laughs> um, <laughs> less chili, I would imagine. Especially the chili, the kind of way we do it here yeah, in Cincinnati. Yeah, exactly. I would imagine. Uh, but I like it. It felt like for a long time, I mean, I guess it still does, sort of like, it felt like a bigger art school, because there's a lot of people just making uh, projects and doing sure. things. I mean, there's sort of the, whatever the Hollywood people know about or recognize, and there's also people running around just creating stuff all the time also. Yeah. And those are the ones I like to try to be in tune Try to with. hang out yeah, with those yeah. people. Yeah, well, you know, you're getting a lot of attention for this, so the people you were hanging out with to make this, this happen obviously knew what they were doing. Let's talk about the movie itself, because the premise is, on the one hand, it's kind of dark. Yeah. On the other hand, both the title, frankly, and then the the the, the story itself has some some comic elements. How do you how do you kind of juggle both? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, the short way to describe it is a dark comedy. I I think a fair way to describe this movie or compare it to maybe is sort of like uh, Fargo in the South. Oh, okay. It's not the same as Fargo, but yeah. if you're gonna, I don't know, have it. If you like this, you might like this sort of category. Okay, sure. And it's about. Um, it's about these, uh, <laughs> this group of friends, they're in like a little garage band together in Alabama, and uh, they go out and party and get weird one night and goof around, and one of them ends up dead. Yeah. And then the other two are basically running around trying to keep that a secret. <laughs> you don't, I'm, you I'm don't want the... your buddy to be remembered having died like that. I well, imagine. they don't even want people to know that he did. That he's, that he's dead. 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 Yeah, and I'm okay. one of the two idiots trying to cover it up. Nice, yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, and it's funny, you mentioned your character is an idiot. And I got to read this quote here that yeah. I got from, from one of the reviews where it describes your performance as uh, an Oscar-worthy performance as a fumbling, inarticulate, vape-sucking knucklehead. Is that a good thing? Are we? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean is that the character? If you see the movie, you'll know that it's a good that's thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. That's what the character's um, yeah, supposed to be. Exactly. He's like a guy who'd sell liquor to teenagers outside of UDF. Oh, that's gotcha. <laughs> good. Okay. Good. I, I know. I, I know that guy. I can picture yeah. him in my head even as we speak. Um, you know, you talked about liking to be around creative people in general, and you're a very creative person. Uh, obviously, you act, but you do some writing and directing as well. You didn't yeah. write and direct this one, but yeah. um, when you're out in LA and you're around all those different kinds of creative people, when you stumble into something that is getting the praise that, that, that this is getting, did you know when you started that it was good? Uh, well, the people that were involved with it, like A24 produced it, and they make a lot of really cool movies that I like. Yeah. Um, and uh, the director, Daniel Scheinert, he's part of this duo mostly known as the Daniels. They did okay. like Swiss Army Man. They've done a lot of cool projects, and this is uh, one of the two Daniels' first solo feature. So his track record was awesome, and the yeah. script was good. It was like one of the only scripts I ever read was like, I feel like this was written for me, that the vape-sucking idiot character. <laughs> and then, um, but uh, anyway, so I was just like, oh, I feel this is, I felt like, it wasn't written for me, but like, like, I felt like it was my kind of thing anyway. Right thing. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, congratulations for some of the, the positive attention you guys have been getting. Oh, I brought you a gift. Oh, you did? Yeah, the movie has a lot of music in it, like Nickelback okay. and Creed, uh, and this has nothing to do with that. Okay. But, um, <laughs> No, I'm really but intrigued. But I thought I was gonna, I was gonna gift you that. Oh wow! Uh, Robert Van Winkle. Is that an actual autograph? It is an actual autograph. Wow. From me. Wow. <laughs> it's my signature on a photograph of uh, I am, Robert. I am going to cherish this always. And he says, word to, "Word to your station." Word to, so. word to your station. Thank you for that. Uh, the screenings of the death of Dick Long. They are tonight and Sunday. Both are at the Esquire Theater. Oh, we're having after parties too. Ludlow Wines Ooh. on Thursday tonight, and uh, Torn Light Records on Sunday. I, I'm shocked that this movie has an after party. Uh, go to local12.com <laughs> and click on the Get It Now links for more details. Andre, pleasure talking to you. Oh yeah, thanks for coming and thanks for the gift. Oh, you bet. All cherish right. it. We'll be right back. <laughs>